this video we're going to be replacing the pull start or fixing the pull start on our O2 Renegade. Uh, it's a ski do that is my friend said we've had it for a while. It needs a, the pull start to be fixed. When you're pulling it, it's not catching on the engine. We noticed last year that a few of the screws have been coming loose on the pull start itself. So I think if we, when we go take a look at it today, we're going to see that it's completely come disconnected. So that needs to get fixed and we'll do some typical maintenance items. All right, first we're gonna remove the springs that hold on. We're gonna remove one side of the springs that are gonna hold on the pipe as well as all of them on the other side that hold the muffler to the pipe. These things here are a nightmare to take off. So make sure you buy the right tool. So it looks like I'm going to be shopping for some screws. I can't find any. Plenty of acorns. Chestnuts. I'm take a look around, see if I can find any screws. Get this, hopefully get this back together and get it back on the road. Hopefully I'll be able to get this back in the snow without an issue. It looks like just the screws are gone. After inspection, it looks like the four screw holes are fine and the threads are still okay. So my plan is to buy new M6s and to install them in place, I'm gonna use some blue thread locker in there so that it holds it. If there was an issue where these were unthreaded, you can, or the threads are stripped, you can take out those four hex screws that hold the spring in place and you can drill it, you can tap it, or you can modify it so that you can get a bolt and a nut in there. All right, so now that I was able to get the screws, there were M6s that I picked up from Home Depot. I picked up some blue thread lock and I put the pull start back in place. I was able to check to make sure that the pull start's still engaging by holding it against the engine while I pull it slightly and everything seems to be working okay. So screws are back on th with blue thread lock and now I'm gonna put the rest of the exhaust back together and then I'm gonna try starting it and running it. Getting the system back together is relatively simple. Now that you have the recoil starter in, you just need to put the muffler back in place. You need to reconnect the pipe to the muffler. And then you need to, there's two nuts on the back that'll go in that connect the muffler to the set of springs. And then you put the springs back on the exhaust pipe to hold everything together and you should be good to start it. Thanks for tuning into Steve's Garage. Don't forget to subscribe and like for future content.